The Xbox Game Showcase is coming at you live this Thursday, July 23rd, and this is going to be my preview video and everything you can expect to see at that show. Let's get into it. What is going on everybody? Randall419, the man with the million, back again with another video. Hope everyone's having a great day, and if you guys could do me a huge favor, make sure you hit the like and subscribe button. It means a lot to me. Thank you guys so much for all the recent support. It's a big and exciting week for Xbox fans as Microsoft is finally showing us what the future of Xbox is with their Xbox Game Showcase this Thursday. And I figured I would go over everything that I think could be at the main show, as well well, let's go over some of the things that we might see at Jeff Keighley's pre-show since it was announced that there'll be updates on games already announced as well as some reveals. But I'm going to start off this video with things that we will not see at this show and that's basically the price, pre-orders, or release date. We won't get the price on Xbox Series X or the release date and pre-orders definitely aren't going to open up that day. I think you can look forward to finding out more information about that in August. And that also leads me to another thing that they will not talk about, and that is the rumored Xbox Lockhart, the cheaper next generation Xbox SKU that most people refer to as the Xbox Series S. That will not be at this show, that will more than likely be at some event in August. And I know there's been some talk recently about some changes to Xbox Live Gold and maybe it going free, but I would not expect an announcement for it at this show. The Xbox Game Showcase is going to be mainly about one thing, games, and how they are going to impact the future of Xbox and what their first party is doing for the next few years. Now, of course, I just want to say a lot of these are my own personal predictions, and yes, a lot of it will be true, but I'm sure that I will get some things wrong, and it's incredibly difficult to try to predict what will show up at these shows. And we're going to start at the pre-show because there are going to be some game announcements, and I see Microsoft kind of showing off some smaller announcements here along the veins of announcing Gears Tactics for the Xbox Series X and formally announcing it with the trailer for that system as well as Flight Simulator for the Xbox Series X. And I think we also get brand new trailers for smaller games in the Xbox ecosystem like Grounded from Obsidian which is launching in game preview on July 28th as well as Battletoads announcement with a shadow drop that day. That's right, I think Battletoads will get a new trailer and at the end of it will say download it today. We also get a brand new trailer from Tell Me Why, the new interactive storytelling game from Dotnod that is an Xbox exclusive and I think that first episode will come out in August. There are going to be some Game Pass announcements for sure. Now that could be at the pre-show or the main show, but I expect a lot of high profile third party games and some cool indie games to get announced for Game Pass that goes into the end of the year. Could Cyberpunk get into Game Pass? Maybe, but highly unlikely at launch. We could see some games like Doom Eternal get announced for Game Pass, but I certainly expect there to be some announcements for that service. And of course, there's definitely going to be some smaller games that they're going to showcase. Definitely ID at Xbox games. And I'm going to kind of throw this one out there. I expect Final Fantasy XIV to kind of be officially announced for Xbox, and it could be at this pre-show or the main show. I also think Microsoft will drop a trailer for Wasteland 3, which is in Exile's new game coming out in August. I think Microsoft really kind of wants to keep some of these lower profile games in the pre-show so they can kind of focus on the bigger games and the much bigger announcements for the main show. Really quickly, I just want to make mention that there is a reason why Microsoft is streaming the game showcase in 1080p 60 instead of 1080p 30. And that's because a lot of Microsoft's first party is targeting 60 frames as a standard and they want to be able to showcase that on stream. Phil Spencer has talked extensively about how this generation, the feel of games is going to be different. And that is because of the higher frame rates and the SSD and all that good stuff. So now we come to the main showcase, the event that the Xbox fans have been looking forward to for quite some time. And I think the game that is going to start off the show on the right foot is none other than 343 Industries 
Halo Infinite. I think they have finally knocked it out of the park, and I'm expecting an 8 to 10 minute demo slash trailer. I think we see some cinematics. I think we kind of get the setup of the story and then they showcase the gameplay moving smoothly in between the cinematics and gameplay and vice versa. And then afterwards, there's gonna be many interviews coming out with the press talking about the game, maybe what the multiplayer feature set is. And as a prediction, I'm thinking two things are gonna happen at this showcase. One is that you'll be able to play and download the Halo Infinite multiplayer beta that day. And two, it'll come out in interviews maybe after the show or during the show, who knows. But I honestly think Halo Infinite's multiplayer is going to be free to play, whether it's on Xbox Series X or Xbox One, Windows 10 PC, or Steam. Microsoft wants to get Halo Infinite and the multiplayer into as many hands as they possibly can. And if you want to compete with games like Fortnite and Call of Duty Warzone and Apex Legends, you need to be free to play. I personally think Halo Infinite is going to blow everybody away and I can't wait to see what 343 has done with the game. Next up, we have Hellblade 2, which was first shown off at the VGAs alongside the reveal of the Xbox Series X. And I think we get a brand new trailer, not exactly a gameplay demo or at least a lengthy one like Halo Infinite, but I do expect to see some gameplay in it, and it's going to be one of the best looking games ever. Mark my words on this one, guys. Then we're going to have Rare's new game, Everwild. I think it's definitely going to make a showing. I would expect maybe a slight gameplay demo, not very long, and it's going to look absolutely gorgeous. Rare definitely has a style. The trailer when they showcase this game for the first time at XO19, the one word that kind of comes to mind when describing Everwild Wild is absolutely gorgeous and this is one of the titles I'm really looking forward to finding out more about because I don't know anything about it. Is it a single player game? Is it co-op? What exactly do you do in Everwild? And I can't wait to find out on July 23rd. I also would expect there to be some sort of optimized for Series X montage that could either take place during the main show or during the pre-show. And in this montage, I think Microsoft will showcase Gears 5, Sea of Thieves, Forza Horizon 4, just to name a few of their first party titles that are getting updated for day one on Xbox Series X. I expect Gears 5 to come in at 4K 60 with 120 frames for the multiplayer and maybe even announce a single player DLC. Sea of Thieves is going to get updated to run at 4K 60. Same thing with Forza Horizon 4, 4K 60 with the potential for 120 frames performance mode and maybe they throw in some more third-party kind of games there cyberpunk showing off maybe some of the enhancements or something like assassin's creed Valhalla. double fine will be there showing off psychonauts 2 which i think will get a brief gameplay demo that game is going to be launching this holiday with the xbox series x and then turn 10 will be there showcasing forza motorsport 8 i know a lot of people may be expecting forza horizon 5 but that game is probably going to be coming out a little bit later maybe 2022 is i expect forza Forza Motorsport 8 not to actually launch this year. That's right, the Xbox Series X is not going to launch with a Forza. Forza Motorsport 8, in my opinion, in my prediction, is going to be coming spring 2021, but they're still going to showcase it here because it's going to really highlight the graphics of the game, the ray tracing, the frame rate, how everything looks. People are going to be blown away by just how realistic Forza Motorsport 8 looks. Another studio that could show up is Undead Labs, and if they do they will be dropping a trailer, maybe a teaser for State of Decay 3, and I'm going to be very interested in seeing the differences between State of Decay 3 and State of Decay 2. I felt State of Decay 2 was too much of State of Decay 1.5. I'm looking for a big leap with State of Decay 3. Then we're going to have the RPG Masters Obsidian show up. They put out Outer Worlds last year. They're putting out Grounded in a couple weeks here, but they're going to give you a taste of their next project, a big AAA RPG. People say it's kind of like a Skyrim game set in the Pillars universe or something. At least that's the rumors, but I can't wait to see what it actually is. And even though this game showed up at the May showcase event, the medium, I expect it to show up once again at this main Xbox game showcase where they're going to show off a gameplay demo showcasing the instant switching between the worlds and give you a better look at this kind of horror themed game that's going to be coming around the launch of the Xbox Series X. 
I also 100% expect there to be at least one brand new announcement from Xbox Global Publishing, if not two. Xbox Global Publishing brought us games this generation like Ori and the Will and the Wisp, Sunset Overdrive, and Rise Son of Rome. They work with independent creators to make exclusive games for Xbox, and you can expect there to be a new announcement from them during this showcase. Then we come to some of the third-party games that might be at this show, and this is really hard to kind of predict, especially with the way this whole E3 season has been. I don't expect a new Call of Duty to be announced here, and I even don't really expect Assassin's Creed Valhalla to show up. Ubisoft just showcased the game at their own event over a week ago and dropped 30 minutes of gameplay footage. The only reason I'm considering it showing up here is because Microsoft has the marketing for the game, but I don't think it does. Now, Cyberpunk 2077 could show up here, but even still, it's been at Xbox's E3s for the past couple years. They even did their own event recently, so I'm not really sure. Even though every single time I do one of these videos, I say Batman's gonna get announced, but I don't think Batman's gonna be here either. Either Batman and whatever Rocksteady is working on, which is Suicide Squad, is going to be at the DC event in August. So if a third party does show up, which I expect there to be, I just don't really know what third party is going to show up. I know that's pretty lame to say, but I'm a little bit murky on the third party support. But something I know will be there is going to be some Japanese third party support. But as to what it is, I can only guess. Maybe Microsoft finally announces Persona 5 for the Xbox platform. Maybe Neo 1 and Neo 2 get announced for Xbox those would be pretty cool announcements that people have been asking for but i would expect a game from sega or perhaps a game from capcom but i just don't know what could it be a brand new game like pragmatica that we just haven't heard about or could it be street fighter 6 something along those lines but definitely expect some japanese support here at the show and then this leads me to the end of the show and i'm gonna throw out right here my prediction that fable from playground games is going to end out the show with a huge bang can't wait to see what this game looks like, but don't go in expecting to see a gameplay trailer. This is going to be an announcement trailer, very much maybe in the similar vein of Horizon Forbidden West that Guerrilla Games and Sony showed off at the PS5 reveal event all the way back in June. Now, of course, there could be plenty more surprises and games announced here. I just don't know. Otherwise, it wouldn't be a surprise. But this is pretty much what I expect to see at the Xbox Game Showcase. And like I mentioned before, don't expect price. Don't expect pre-orders. Do not expect the release date. Don't expect Microsoft to reveal Xbox Lockhart. And guys, don't expect Microsoft to announce a new acquisition like they've bought somebody like IO Interactive or Warner Brothers Games. I don't think that is going to happen here. So those are all my predictions for the Xbox Games Showcase. Let me know yours in the comments below. And as always, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit the like and subscribe button. Share this out on social media or tell a friend about the channel. And if you always want to be notified immediately when I drop a new video make sure you hit that notification bell it's right next to the subscribe button and the like button guys just hit that you'll get notified every time i drop a new video thank you guys so much for watching i truly appreciate each and every one of you that does and i'll see everybody in the next video later guys